In this video, you will discover the six best ways to make a man crazy about you. Hi, I'm Antje Boyd, founder and creator of the Magnetize Your Man Method. And look, if you're new to my channel, comment, like, and subscribe so you get notified for more juicy videos coming your way. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Secret number six is focus on yourself. Now, what do I mean by that? Most women that come to me are what I call other focused, right? They learn due to their own wound patterns that they've they experienced in their childhood that it's not safe to focus on themselves, but that they should actually gain the approval, right? Or gain the respect or gain the admiration from the other person. So they will actually outsource, right? Themselves, their opinions, to other people. So it will always go outgoing. So they're going on a date and they were asking the other person, oh, how are you doing? Um, if you were an animal, what would you be and why? I'm just kidding. Um, but you know, it would always be outgoing versus actually ah, feeling like, what does it feel like for energy to come back to you, right? What does it feel like for a man to invest in you? What does it feel like for a man to ask you the questions, right? For a man to be curious about you, to be a, for a man to be inquisitive about you, right? Like most often, if you watch this video, that's gonna be actually really hard because like you have men who are more talking about themselves than they actually are interested in you. So in order to drive a man crazy, focus on yourself. Secret number five, lean into tension. Now I see so many women who are afraid of confrontation. They don't want conflict. They don't want to stand up for themselves. Because why? Because they think when tension occurs, that automatically means that they are receiving the disapproval from the other person or even worse, that the other person is either gonna explode on them and potentially even become abusive, especially if that's what they have experienced in their childhood with their parents growing up or the other fear is of course that the other person then withdraws. So what's important is to actually lean into tension, right? When when somebody's not saying something after you just said, hey, I did not agree what you just said and the other person may just sit there and not say anything, lean in. What you don't want to do, is, and I see so many women do that, that come to me, right? It's like laugh it over, be like, oh, I was just kidding, <laughs> just a joke, you know what I mean? I don't really mean it that way. I'm not really standing up for myself, right? So they're actually going into denial and they're actually not able to advocate for their needs and they're not able to maintain and reinforce boundaries because of that reason. So lean into tension. Secret number four is surprise yourself. Wait a minute, Anja, what does that mean? Okay, I love this. So when I came to the States, I wanted to constantly surprise myself, by the way, that's that, that was 16 years ago, right? And so one way how I did that is I would really put myself into situations that were uncomfortable. Now, some of you may know Sarah Blakely, who's of course the youngest female billionaire uh, that's on the planet right now. And so one thing she does, right, is like she surprises herself all the time. So for example, she'll go into an elevator and she'll sing. Now, as you know, you can't get out of an elevator, right? And it feels extremely uncomfortable, right? You may have also watched um, Impractical Jokers. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. My husband is even a bigger fan of it. And again, it's they're surprising themselves. It's almost like they, they put themselves into situations where they have to improv. Now, why do you want to do that? Well, you want to break out of predictable patterns. There's a part in your brain called Broca. And Broca is attempting to predict everything, right? So if you use the same kind of ways to engage with a man, right? Then he'll be like making assumptions. He's like, oh, it's just, you know, whatever. But even more importantly, when you are always engaging in the same way, you use the same language, you use the same language patterns, you use the same examples and so on and so forth, right? It's actually for yourself, you're, not, you're actually losing charisma, right? Because all you're doing is you become actually really robotic, 
right? You're not becoming organic, but you're becoming robotic, right? So that you're becoming robotic to yourself, which means you become less engaging. You become less connected also emotionally because you already feel like, oh, it's just kind of like a rehearsal. I do the same thing over and over again, um, no matter what. And it's not surprising, right? And so therefore it's not charisma building. So what can you do to surprise yourself? Right? Can, what can you sign up for? Where can you raise your hand when you don't know the answer? Right? Where can you put yourself a little bit into this uncomfortable place that Sarah Blakely uh, puts herself in all the time? Number three is have your own goals. Now, you may have heard this before because if you want to create an interdependent relationship, meaning you have your own world, he has his own world, and then you have your world together, right? You have a couple identity and as well as your individual, unique, independent identities, then you need to have your own goals. You see, when women come to me, they usually have a parts conflict inside of themselves. A part of them wants to have the relationship and the other part doesn't. So in order to actually harmonize and bring them together, they need to have space in the relationship, right? Independence. And they also need to have the connection. So one way how you create the space, right? And how you also attract a man who give you the space is by having your own goals, right? By you not collapsing into them and wanting to be part of their world and you have nothing else because then you have nothing else to bring to the table and the relationship can never grow. It doesn't stay interesting, right? And you can feel that from a date. But when you have your own goals, we're going back to the tension, there's a healthy tension. There's a very highly uh, harmonious uh, tension in your relationship, right? There is a curiosity. Hey, how was your day? I don't know how your day was. So there's no assumptions that can be made, but rather you explore each other over and over again. Very exciting. Secret number two is embrace your uniqueness. To give an example, so when I started dating Brody, I still do it occasionally, I would walk into his office, our office are right next to each other. My husband's name is Brody, by the way. And I would walk into his office and I would just like jump, yippee, you know, and then I would just like walk back out of the room and continue to work. So that's like part of my uniqueness. Sometimes I dance like a fish. Fish, as a matter of fact, <laughs> raise your hand if you want us to do a little TikTok channel because we're sometimes thinking, wow, we should film all of this. This is so hilarious. Now, but it hasn't always been this way. Like when I dated just how you are right now, I was actually very ashamed, right? I knew I had all those quirky sides about me, but I was afraid that if he finds out about that, he's not going to be interested anymore. He's going to think I'm weird. He's going to think I'm a freak. And I'm here to tell you, fly your freak flag. It's going to raise your charisma quotient for one, right? And then also number two, what it's going to do, it's going to, it's going to be so magnetic. It's going to feel so self-expressed and it increases your visibility that the men that are right for you will be able to find you. Another thing I did was I was at a conference a couple of years ago and you see, I was really bored because everybody was saying the same thing. We just talked about Broca, the part in your brain that can predict everything. So that's where I was at, right? So I said, look, I need to wake up the room a little bit here. So I took the mic and I said, wake up! And I yelled it into the microphone, which also goes a little bit with surprising yourself because I surprised myself. Um, <clears throat> but again, I was flying my freak flag, right? You know, some people didn't like it. Some people thought it was awesome. It doesn't really matter. But that's what I felt I needed to do in that moment. And needless to say, my husband is madly in love with those unique, quirky uh, ways of interacting with me. And as a matter of fact, he bounces off that all the time. Imagine your guy not only loving it, but then actually like improving off of that himself, right? And him like actually adding on to the quirkiness and feeling inspired to express his own quirkiness. Hey, Quirks, I mean, sorry, nerds, uh, no, <laughs> freaks, unite. <laughs> and finally, secret number one, be mysterious and tease. This goes a little bit back into managing the art of tension. Now, I'm talking about a different kind of tension here because when a man asks you a question, you don't always have to answer with a sentence. You can answer with another question. Right? Like you can tease them. You don't have to say everything right away. You, As a matter of fact, you don't even have to answer 
exactly to what he said. So let's say he says, uh, you know, oh, how was, how was your week this week, right? Like you could just say, oh, you know, work was great. Da, 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 da. And then again, you go into that like predictable pattern, right? The, like the broker part, right? Or you can, you can just either say, oh, hey, you know, it was so and so, but what I really would love is, you know, like a piece of chocolate right now or something, right? So what you're going to do for being mysterious, you create a pattern interrupt, right? You sent his brain on vacation, that part of that wants to predict things. And now he's actually present with you. It's going to drive him nuts because he doesn't even know, right? So he surprises himself too. He has to improv. You keep him on his toes. So what that doesn't mean, because I can already see some of you rolling your eyes, is to say, oh, I have to pretend I'm somebody that I'm not. No, you don't. You already have that part inside of yourself, right? Like you don't have to become out of the sudden, uh, you know, speak in a sexy voice if you don't ever speak in a sexy voice and you don't feel comfortable with that. That's not what I'm talking about with at all, right? You don't have to turn yourself into a pretzel. It's more about like, like do something a little different, shift it a little bit different, you know, ask, why, why are you asking this question? You know, what I really want to know about is this, or, you know what I mean? With a big smile on your face and he's like, hmm, are we talking about this? Or are we talking about that? Right? Are we talking about food right now? Or are we talking about something else? That's when it gets interesting, right? Like sometimes my women send me screenshots of text messages <clears throat> that the guy sent them and... <laughs> It's so interesting because they're like, wait, are they talking about like coffee right now? Or are they talking about, is that like a flirty, engaging, right? Like a uh, tension that they're creating with each other. So that's how you want to think when you engage with a man. Ladies, if you like this video, here is what's next. First, watch my free playlist course on how to make a man chase you. And also, if you haven't done so already, take my free Magnetize Your Man quiz by simply clicking that link or going to magnetizeyourman.com. This is it for today. I enjoyed myself so much doing this video for you. I hope you did too. Leave me comments below. Much love. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.